when we're coming up with Skeletor, it's really this larger than life character and just giving him the very dumbest plot possible the, the to most take down human. He, yeah, to take down so He-Man. And he believes so much in himself. It's just, what is that, that very over the top plan that he's going to do in the most simple way that is very <laughs> yeah, human. Earnest. Yeah, well, the, the, we'll talk about it in the room and then the writers will make a pitch, which will be a paragraph long, you know, with a few funny lines of dialogue, and then everyone will read that at the end of the day yeah. and vote on it. I guess we pitch. should explain, yeah, there's right like now. six to eight writers in the room at any given time, everybody's contributing sketches, and then we have a vote at the end of every day, what goes to the next stage. So 9 a.m. you come in, writers type frivolously as fast as they possibly can until about, uh, no, until about three o'clock in the Here afternoon well. and then you print everything out, everybody reads everything and then you just trash everything from like 3.30 till about seven o'clock at night. Break their so brutal. Mike here. Oh, yeah, TV's Mike Casolo, um, who could not be here today. Because um, he lives in this phone. Because his, his, <laughs> represented by this his attitude to partake was in the hospital. Um, <laughs> he, he lives far away. Uh, he, he pitched the sketch and I think has done a lot of the Skeletor sketches. He's not the sole writer. I mean, uh, the, the room has contributed and I told Tom Root and Doug have yeah. done yeah. some as well. But and this one was Mike's? Uh, he, he, he keeps bringing it you up. You can tell because of the berry blue jelly belly reference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always happy because at any time they tell me there's a Skeletor sketch, I'm excited because it means I get, to, I get to come in and play. Well, that Skeletor is full of terrible ideas uh, and really prone to repeating the same awful plan. Because if at first you don't succeed, try exactly the same thing. The first Skeletor sketch was he and the other villains in the all stuck in traffic, which I think became sort of a signature sketch for what Robot Chicken was. So a bunch of villains going to work together was just a funny gag. Really sold the tone of the show, and Skeletor got to be a standout because he had, you know, he had had a breakfast burrito. <laughs> he was driving, and he let one go, and everyone, everyone sort of remembered it. And it was one of the building blocks, I think, between the audience and the show and the relationship with Mattel. Well, when, when Skeletor, the Skeletor's first plan was to disguise themselves as babies so that they could infiltrate the castle unsuspectedly, but then he realized that as a baby, he only had the physical strength of a child. He still couldn't, even though he could think like a man, he was com completely immobile. And so the second time that he became a baby, it was in an effort to time travel back to before He-Man was born to murder his mother before He-Man was incepted. But when he travels back in time, he himself is an infant. Skeletor and Beastman as babies were just two funny looking characters with those oversized heads on those little bodies. We were like, there's something just inherently funny at looking at these things. So the process of making baby Skeletor is, uh, is very interesting. Um, we, you know, to make a, uh, a puppet that has to stand up to gravity and, uh, and to animators' hands. Uh, we have to first take uh, and create a uh, animatable or posable, movable skeleton for him, and we call that an armature. And it's con it consists of a multi-strand aluminum and steel wire, and then the armature is placed in the mold, and uh, the silicone skin is cast around that. So even though we're making a miniature version of Skeletor, we want to make sure that the color that we uh, choose for him is exactly the same as the toys. The blue silicone skin is uh, mixed together and measured and then injected into the mold. And after 24 hours, that mold can be opened and the uh, body can be removed. The, uh, the body is polished so that it, the seams become smooth and all looks like he's got beautiful skin. And then the head is actually also molded from the original toy head. That's cast in plastic. And a fabricator um, will go to great lengths to repaint that head to look like the original toy. The head is placed on the body and the uh, puppet is sent to costuming where they will create and dress him with his little diaper. And then uh, he's ready to go out to set. Uh, during the process of uh, animating these, you know, the, the puppets will break 
And so we actually have to, for most of the uh, episodes that we make, we have to make multiples of these. The last episode that we did with uh, Baby Skeletor in it, we made a dozen of him. And that's how we make Baby Skeletor.